Okay, here we have the basic framework of uh, my game table. As you can see, I've completed attaching or finished uh, attaching the uh, legs uh, that are approximately 28, no correction, 29 inches uh, in length. Total table height will be about 30 inches. Everything's pretty much screwed together at this stage. I've also included or attached these uh, two by sixes that are about eight feet long. Uh, once the table is turned around, uh, these uh, two by sixes will act as a uh, as sort of armrests or uh, areas where you can place your game trays. Okay, total length of my table is going to be 12 feet. No correction, 10 feet by five feet in width. As you can see, I've bolted the legs to the frame. Everything's already been screwed. So you can actually lift it. It's pretty sturdy at this point in time, but uh, also the table is uh, very heavy. There's my son, surprise. All right, guys. Bye. Okay, so we're here back at the garrison. As you can see, I've completed uh, the game table for Axis and Allies. Earlier today, I finished uh, sanding down uh, the entirety of the table. Okay, I first started out by using 60 grain and I worked my way up to 120 grain. Something that I regret having not done prior to assembling my table is to actually sand down uh, the pieces prior to uh, putting the table together. Reason being is that I discovered uh, that, uh, that uh, a lot of uh, sawdust gets uh, accumulated. I had uh, basically a, a, a sawdust uh, sandstorm inside uh, the garrison it got very dirty you know, it took me quite a while to clean up so that's something that i regret and i should have prior to uh bringing in the pieces into the garrison i should have sanded them first uh down outside uh, uh, the bunker for the garrison okay so the next step is uh basically just to uh stain the table and from here, after I stain the table, I will uh, go ahead and apply polyethylene. I think I'm going to use a semi-gloss uh, clear coating. Okay, so here we are. The table uh, is about, I would say, about 90% uh, completed. There's a few details I have yet to uh, wrap up. As you can see, I've uh, stained uh, the game table. Okay, I've uh, finished uh, these slots. Okay, these are going to be for uh, game accessories, the two smaller ones. The center uh, slot here is going to be for, uh, or it's going to be acting as a dice tray. I have yet to uh, insert the the foam that will cushion the dice when uh, when being thrown. Okay. All right. So just to give you an idea, the actual map here uh, is eight feet long and four feet wide. The total length of the table is 10 feet long and 5 feet wide and about 30 inches tall. I've also incorporated these slots here. As you can see, these slots uh, uh, will act as uh, 
as uh, spaces where I can uh, take out my game trays. Okay, unlike some game tables that I've seen um, that are very popular, uh, a lot of the guys like to uh, what is it? Uh, dedicate space or slots on the sides of the map. This way, it's easy uh, for them to. Uh, uh, reach out or reach into the boxes and get game pieces so that they can play. I chose not to do that, uh, reason being that I like to actually uh, lean on the game table. I like to, when I'm playing, I like to look, I like to lean and put my body weight on the game table. Okay, and I think also aesthetically, it, it, it looks nicer, I think. One little detail that I regret, when I have my map printed, um, I never gave it a second thought that I should have uh, gone for a different finish. As you can see, there's a lot of, um, uh, there's a lot of gloss on the, on the game map. And what that does is that due to lighting, there's a lot of reflection, there's a lot of uh, 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 lighting coming back at you. So for game purposes or gaming purposes, that may not be uh, ideal. So if I had to print my map again, I would look or I would try to get a map that uh, that would not be high gloss. The flatter the finish, the better, I think, for gaming purposes. That's something for you guys to think of uh, when you uh, design and build your own table. By the way, the, the map itself is not cheap. It's uh, if I recall correctly, it was around, give or take, $300. And I say recall because I actually had this game map printed about a year, a year or a year and a half ago. So my, my memory at this time is a, a little sketchy. Okay, so. All right. Once again, uh, the game table is not yet fully complete. I have to still uh, um, basically uh, install or make uh, uh, additions to the table that will enhance uh, the game uh, experience. As I said, my table is not the best. I, I didn't plan to make uh, uh, the ideal table. Uh, as I said before, also, this is my first time uh, doing anything that it, that uh, that uh, is this demanding. I'm not a carpenter, so you know it was uh, an adventure, I could say. But I think overall it came out okay. It will suit or it'll meet my my gaming demands. All right, guys, uh, I'll let you uh, go for now. Uh, as always, uh, let me know what you think, and I look forward to your comments. Detroit. Out.